Hi beautiful people, sorry for for vlogging at night, but yes. You're most welcome to this YouTube channel. Well, my name is Elsie Tukahira. Um, kindly like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell plus. Sharing and commenting, yeah. So, today is the very first day of the Easter, Easter water fasting. Three days Easter water fasting, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, sometimes in life you need such, such things. You need to take time off social media, search for God. By this time around, I felt like God told me to, you know, to vlog it and experience what be so nice while I'm, t while I'm telling you. But you need to know and you need to take some time off. So keep tuned in. Forgotten to tell you that um, sometimes you guys see us when you see most of the people, okay, me especially, you'll see me on TikTok, you'll see me posting all that time, and you might think we don't pray and all that. So, if you're really looking up to Elsie, you might be like, eh, me, 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 Elsie doesn't do this, okay, I'll also not do it. Some things that you need first. There's some things that you really need to fast for. And it depends the, th the level of the thing. If the thing is so heavy, you need to, my dear, you need to leave food and give God the time for that thing to happen. You might fast from Monday to Friday, maybe um, fasting 12 hours, if it's really not. It depends, okay, there's some things that you just talk and they will happen. But there are some things you need to first put in a step to first. So keep tuned in as I tell you the experience. People, so I remember I recorded a video, like I recorded a video like last night and I was telling you about the Esther first. So this is my first day and how I, I, I protect myself, like how I protect myself like every time eating that food for the soul that makes it you know that reignites my soul each and every time you know when you're fasting it doesn't you don't need to always be there seated maybe on social media being people um, it distracts you you can easily see what you don't know but I always listen to 98.7 here in Uganda we have that channel it's for Pastor Tom Mugero we have a pastor yeah so I always listen to it um, whenever I am fasting I make sure I listen to that channel the whole day the whole night because it is always filled with you know prayer praying testimonies like and I always make sure that I'm always in, in the house I don't get time to get out like maybe like around but I don't get time to get out. I really want to give God the best of my time because I realize when you give God the best it also gives you the best. So that's what I always do. So this is the first day and it is two PM right now. Yeah. It is two PM. I've not yet finished. You know the first day is always because if you're used to first day the first day is when God gives you that grace, it is not like so so bad as a singer. So it's not always bad, and it is an Easter fast, so I can take some water if I want, hot or cold. But all I want to say that is that always trust God for that. best. when you feel there are some things that need you to go a mile, there are some things that will need you not to only pray but to fast and not only to fast but to take days of food you understand what i'm what i'm meaning sorry for that noise you understand what i'm meaning there are some things that you'll need and you'll just be like oh god i pray you give me this thing and it will happen and there are some things that you'll need um and you'll need to fast maybe from morning to evening 12 hours and it will have it happen and there are some things where you really need to enter into the spiritual battle with that thing you need to get over that thing but you need to pray 
get time off and pray and fast. You understand what I'm meaning? So it depends on the level of the thing. For example, if you dream something, like if you dream a certain dream, maybe taking your keys, there are some dreams that show that will show certain is doing something in your life. You, you don't just need to pray and fast just for 12 hours. You need to go a mile away. I'm just giving an example. There are some things you really need in your life, but they will not just come. You understand what I'm meaning? They will not just come just like that. And if you keep talking about them, you will talk and talk and talk and they will not come. They will not. So what am I meaning? Alright, trust God. You know I love First Peter. Is it First Peter? 2, 5? I'll, I'll, I'll put here the scripture if I'm, if I'm wrong. I think it's First Peter 2, 5. 2, 6, 2, 5 there. It says, those that trust in the Lord will not be put on shame. And those that disobey will be put on shame. So always make sure you're not put on shame while doing God's work. You understand what I'm meaning? Pray first. And let me tell you, He will He will be there to do things for you. He will do things for you. He'll never put you on shame. Do you want something in your life? That you know if you don't get it, you'll be ashamed and all that. God will do it. So this is the first day. And so far so good. Today we have learnt about um, the bride. You're the bride. And we talked about very many things. And they were telling us about how heaven is. You need to renew your soul each and every time. Pastor Red, is it Matthew something? I'm going to tell you that. The, I'll tag it here, but it was talking. You know that story that talks about the the ten girls, five foolish, five five wise, the ones that didn't have um, that didn't have uh, what? Is it anointing oil or paraffin? I don't know how you call it in in, in English, but in Uganda it's, it's food. So the foolish ones. Um, when it was the time to watch the, the what? The bridegroom. When they told them that the bridegroom is yet to come. That's when they went to get paraffin to fill their okay, oil. Oil to fill their their what? Their lamps. Because they, they had they had what? They had turned down. They had shut down. They were not producing light. So they needed light, oil. To, to produce light and the wise ones had already come in with other oil that means that um, even though you know that you're there at least take time off and fast take time off and pray just take time off don't be with that don't be like oh now I fasted this uh, Esther fast now it will take like 8 years before, like, and then I will fast again you never know when God is coming. You don't know when Jesus is coming. And it will be a normal day like this one. You understand? You don't know when Jesus is coming back. So always fill. Fill your oil. F I mean, fill, fill your lamp with oil. Hmm? Is it Psalms 20, 23? The one that everyone knows. Let your cup run over. Like, let it pour. Let it pour. Don't be there always thinking that things are going to work out themselves because you're fasted today, tomorrow you will not have any problem. My dear, we are in the world and Jesus told us that yes, the world is hard. It has a lot of, a, a lot of awkward things, but look at me because I've, wo like I've worn it. So, always, actually even when you're fasting and praying, be off social media. See me, my lines are off. I'm not on social media, but I had to record this just because of God. He told me to record this. So be off social media. Always do as God is telling you. And ask for direction. Ask for direction. Ask God what you want me to do in life. You might be a, a very nice singer and you're singing in choir. Okay, God told us we need to worship him everywhere. But you might 
be that extra girl that worships God and uh, you know heavens come down and all. but it might not be your calling you might be when like it might not be your calling maybe God uh, wants you to start preaching the gospel on streets to start preaching the gospel in church to like it's in in hospitals in prisons always ask God and he will always tell you so that is today's what we were talking about the bridegroom I how far you ready for the bridegroom do you really have that attire that that gown that is taking you to that to see the bridegroom the bridegroom is coming but how is your attire let's meet tomorrow Hi guys, good morning. So this is the second day of uh, Esther fast and let me tell you. Um whenever you fast, make sure that you take time off. Let me sit up. Sorry. Make sure that you you get your time off and and pray like keep yourself in prayer. So at night I I, I slept like at 10 after praying. I told you I use 98.7. Why? The reason as to why I use 98.7 because it's always filled with prayer. If it's not prayer, testimonies. If they're not testimonies, gospel music. You understand? So it's really a nice channel for for while fasting. If you're in Uganda, so if you're outside, you can maybe put your worship songs and pray your things. Uh, but make sure you have prayer requests. Yeah, whenever you pray, make sure that you have prayer requests. They will help so, so much. So today is the second day and I feel restored, right? <laughs> I feel I am good. I feel a lot of energy in my soul. Though I am weak, you cannot see it right now. Because when I start speaking, oh my God, I feel like the power is, you know, flowing. But... Uh, I slept at 10 and then woke up at 3, 4, 5, prayed and then slept again, then woke up, woke up like, like at 9, then I, I prayed. Okay, you might, you have to keep yourself in prayer, it's a must, because anything can happen. And let me tell you, when you're fasting about something, in the first week, not first week, first day, you get you get something like God talks to you. So God talked to me about what I was fasting for. Yeah, He talked to me, and I thank God that I'm going to finish when I'm in power and authority. I don't know, no, no, no. <laughs> So today's preaching has been about. Thank you, God, for the sun. Today's preaching has been about 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 fighting your battle fighting your battle you yourself without calling your pastor without calling a friend to 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 help you pray for you and they've given us various scriptures to fight and he has told us if you're new in the born again faith uh, God will do things for you just like that you'll be like oh God I need that and he will give it to you because you are new but if you're now old in the in this faith you need to pray and fight battles because always there are people there you cannot be eating from monday to monday and you think god is going to work for you just like that you understand in the spiritual world there is always something that is holding your not even holding holding your blessings you understand there is always that thing that is always holding your blessings. So just imagine you fasting and praying and God is showing you things and you're like, God, I didn't know this is happening. God, I didn't know this is happening. Let me tell you, we all don't know, but every time we sleep or even when we are walking, um, the, the angels are fighting for us in the spiritual realm. That's why Ephesians 6, um, is it 6, 12? It says... Uh, we don't what? We do not fight. Ah, in English, we do not fight with the what? With flesh and blood. But with but by the spirit. Is it by the spirit or with the spirit? So that means if anything happens, always go back to the spiritual realm, pray first. God will talk. God will always talk. Even even just prayer. And praying has has things. I mean, has types. You can just be there and you'll be like, oh God, I pray. 
I get something to eat in the next 20 minutes and you'll get it. And you'll need these prayers of fasting, uh, you include fasting, and you need prayers of fighting battles. And you cannot, the pastor has told us, you cannot fight a battle without first of all repenting. You need to repent. If you don't repent, you will fight a battle, you'll be like, I rebuke this, and Satan is saying, <laughs> I'll look at this one. I'll just do like this and he will fall, or she will fall. So yeah, so that's you need to repent first of all. Secondly, you need to pray uh, the spirit of fear and sorrow to get out of you. If you're going to fight, you just don't fight like that. Thirdly, he has told us you need to take up the authority because he tells us in Luke 10, 19 that he has given us authority to step on all snakes and all poisonous things in the world. So you need to take up the authority that, oh, I am a child of God. Okay, I need to do this and this. Now I've taken up all the authority. The authority is mine. Then fourth, he has told us never despise yourself. Never despise yourself because when you despise yourself, it's the not, that number one thing that is going to let you down. Never despise yourself. Always take yourself to higher levels. Okay, what I'm meaning, not being proud, but never despise yourself. For example, they might give you a position in school. I'm just, I, I'm just saying because, you know, I have a position at school. So they might give you a position in school and you're like, uh, Katina, me, 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 like really me, I cannot handle that position, that is despise, you've already despised yourself, you cannot fight the battle when you've despised yourself, so you always have to be confident, be confident, say, mm, this is going to happen, amen, this is going to happen, amen, and then the last thing he told us, Pray for in the battle, pray for knowledge because sometimes you don't need to talk, sometimes it only needs one word, sometimes you don't need to quarrel, sometimes you just need to look and watch God doing things in your life, and you don't need to shout to talk. So, yeah, if you're battling, yeah, everyone has things they battle adultery, um, proudness, very many things, violence. Pray fight the battle that was today's preaching how to fight a battle a spiritual battle so either way um they talked about actually this whole week they're talking about the rapture so if you're there and you're born again and you're not preaching the gospel hey man say people are giving examples here and uh, of dreams and all that and it is showing you need to preach the gospel to whoever whoever you find, whether Muslim or what, because God, when God comes back, they'll cry to you. They'll be like, you never preached to us and it's your our friends and all that. People are giving such testimony, I mean dreams. And the hour is now. You don't know when God is coming back. At night, they, have, they taught us about, is it Matthew, Matthew 24 something, that... It will be like Noah's time. It, at Noah's time, Noah told people to enter the ark and they refused until the flood started. And there were only eight people that was that survived. So, I'm telling you, it is the time. Now is the time. You don't know God can come back now as you're listening to this video. I mean, as you're viewing this video. Preach the gospel. Pray. Aura is being spirit. Things of fighting. Things of gossiping around things of abusing people like moving galatians 5:22 not galatians 5:19 but galatians 5:22 galatians 5:19 talks about the 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 fruits of the world and galatians 5:22 talks about the fruits of the holy spirit try and move in them love patience selfless you know uh, like i don't know but try i'm also not perfect but i try try if you say anything is getting you outside a uh, spiritual world try try and come back but you guys try try this Esther first I said I'm going to take water but if I've even not yet taken water today and I am okay I am okay okay the truth is you feel power in your spirit but you, you'll not be like your body will weaken and your spirit will be filled with power 
Because when you're talking, you feel a lot of power, a lot of energy, a lot of fire coming out of your mouth. But when you just sit down there, you can't run, you can't, you can't do things. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, this is the second, and I thank God that I'm glowing. You know, uh, the Bible says when you are fasting, you don't have to show. But I thank God that I'm glowing. <laughs> So yeah, this is the second day and let's meet tomorrow. Yeah, I don't vlog uh, during night times because, not because I don't have a ring light or that, but because I use my phone as my radio. I don't have a, I don't have a Bluetooth, um, I don't have a radio. So I use my phone as my radio. That's why I don't always Bluetooth, I don't always vlog. And even when I'm vlogging here, just know that we are not praying, we are done with prayer and all that. But, yeah. I'm so excited that oh God has kept me and he's still keeping me and I'm feeling power, energy oh, I don't know if you're ready for me because I'm going to preach to you whether you want or not I cannot see myself going to hell and those demons I used to beat around up now beating me no, 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 no I cannot afford, I'll preach to you whether you want it or not my YouTube, I God will make you, God will convict you to watch such things. Mm, I'm coming back with a confession to make in the next video. Anyway, bye. Let's meet tomorrow. hope you are good so this is the third day that was ending the first but guess what yesterday like okay today today morning like at two one around one around one or two there yeah i vomited i vomited but um i thought okay like i was hungry i was not feeling hungry but i vomited so i thought my health was in danger and I decided to pray and broke the fast just like that. But whatever case, I felt peace in my heart. I was like, okay, at least I've reached the third day. I've just not finished it, but I've reached it. So um, this is a lesson to everyone there. Um, if if I told you declare, if I told God tells you to fast three days, hmm, he will give you the grace to fast persist as much as possible you understand and sometimes if at all it's by your will you want to fast maybe for something to god for god to help you first and pray and god will answer it don't mind if, I, if if at all you don't finish like the first don't be there and then be depressed oh my i didn't finish the first nee, 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 nee. no even those two days you, you've been there yeah, God knows you've been there and he's going to always be there for you. You understand what I'm meaning? If you're praying for something, God will answer. Actually, me, God answered me already. He answered me some of the things and I'll testify and I'll confess. Um, yeah. So today is the last day. I'm here eating cake. Yeah. It is a butter cake. That's why it's like that. And then I have have some some merinda here so today today I, I really didn't didn't listen to the gospel like too too much but still I've talked about Acts, Acts chapter 2 the Holy Spirit I've talked about the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit comes into the room everything changes your name changes people see you differently God takes you to another level your your first changes your attire changes everything people will start seeing you differently when the holy spirit enters into that room the way he entered and worked for the disciples is the way he's going to work for you what do you want what are you what are you suffering with the holy spirit is going to come however the holy spirit doesn't come when you're still dirty so you need to repent you need to be clean the holy spirit sits in a clean place because he's so holy he cannot sit somewhere that is not clean you understand so always make sure that if you're calling the holy spirit first 
first repent and you know we always re, uh, we always sin so you need to repent all the time because you don't know when God is coming back and that time you'll be like okay I'll not repent today or right now God can come back at this very hour and what will you tell him what will you tell God? You understand what I'm meaning? So always repent and the Holy Spirit is always there to be there with you. Always make sure that you're moving in the Holy Spirit. Never be in battles of the flesh. Oh my God, you're not among, you're not, you've been the battle of the Spirit. You're not, you're not, well, you're not, don't be confirmed on these worldly things. You understand what I'm meaning? You're not, a, uh, how, what did I want to say? You're not a worldly person. I mean, you're just passing through the world this is not where you're ending so make sure you're working you're working towards the towards the eternal life after after death that's life after death so always um, practice the holy I, as i told you in the second practice the fruits of the holy spirit be there for like i mean first the time of first the holy spirit won't just come like that the holy spirit won't just give you his gifts like that you will not shatala baba satayeba with just like that you understand what i mean get time off and give the holy spirit every day like for real for real leave social media get that time that is so perfect and give it to the to the lord or okay it depends but me I feel like when I, I am fasting, I really need to to give it to give it all my all to God so that He gives me all the blessings without saying mm mm else he didn't do this I'll not you are another one meaning. So yeah, me I didn't finish but you you don't you never know I vomited maybe because of something because maybe I take it okay people have their things. The Holy Spirit has not showed me anything of that sort. So, and he's a smart teacher. He answers questions that we want them to be answered. So, I'm ending this vlog here. Yeah, that has been my Esther fast. I still call it a three-day Esther fast because I must say, it's not easy, but with God, everything is possible. Everything is possible. And even though you don't finish, it is okay. It is okay. There is always chance and good reasons are reason as well you're not finishing that one. Hmm? It is always okay. But I thank God that I'm here, that he has started working. I'm seeing blessings. Uh, my cup is running over. It's on the brim and it's running over. So I bless the name of the Lord for that. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Kindly subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Oh my God, very many videos are going to come up. Much of gospel music, much of pranks, much of fun. Yeah. But however, preach the gospel. The hour is now. God might come back as you're watching this. So preach the gospel. Preach it, brother. Preach it, sister. Hey, bye. I'm laughing and smiling. But preach the gospel. Bye.